It's your first porcelain slab job. You're having to set up inside an office building. You need a table that works. Today, we're gonna to look at one, the Ruby Slim System table. The Ruby Slab table is a simple to set up and easy to use component of the Ruby Slim System. Having a solid table is necessary and required for any porcelain slab installation. This table is built around five aluminum bars fastened to top pivoting legs. Capable of handling 550 pounds of weight per table, you can surely use this for fabrication of 3.5 millimeter thick slabs all the way up to 12 millimeter or 1 8 of an inch all the way up to half inch slabs. And at a weight of 80 pounds per table section, it is easily handled and moved by a single installer. Once assembled from the shipping box, each table will measure approximately 71 inches long with a width of 39 inches. These tables are primarily designed for porcelain slabs no wider than four feet. However, with proper planning and execution, standard five foot wide slabs can be used. By adding a second table, you are able to handle practically every length of slab on the market today. The Ruby table when set up is approximately 28 inches tall. Now for me, I'm exactly six feet. So to hunch over, to fabricate countertops all day long, this table would present problems for me. But if we're talking about just scoring and snapping slabs for floors or wall application, the table should work just fine. To set up a table, find an area that is relatively stable and flat. Set the table on its side so that you can undo the two knobs holding each leg in place. Rotate the legs out and re-tighten the knobs. One trick I've found over the years setting up tables on varied job sites is that you want your feet to be at their lowest position possible before you start to set up your table. This allows you to only need one or two adjustments versus all eight of your feet to be set up. And that's what we did with the Ruby system. It allowed us to be much faster and figure out where our low or high spots were on the table setup. At this point, you will need at minimum a 10 foot straight edge. Use the straight edge to see where the table is low and adjust the feet as necessary until the entire bar sits flat along the length of the table. Do this for both sides and then check across the table at an angle. This must be carefully done to ensure that the porcelain slabs you are about to cut do not get bent or break incorrectly during fabrication. Just like a flooring or wall job, 1 8 of an inch tolerance over 10 feet is allowable, but make it as flat as possible. One nice thing about the Ruby system is just how strong and stable it feels as you're handling it coming out of a trailer or out of a van. It's very simple to get set up. There's not a lot of moving parts. And what I like about that is that it allows you to get a table set up with a two-man team in around 10 to 15 minutes per job site. The ease of connection between the two tables for Ruby, I really like that feature. The fact that you have these two twist knobs with these little parts that have to get connected inside the track. You line them up, push them into place, twist the knobs, you're done. With your table leveled, connected and ready to go, you can now place your porcelain slab material. I always keep a small piece of foam nearby to use to set my porcelain slabs on. Rest the slab and lean against the table. Using the table edge as a fulcrum, lift and pivot the slab along the table's long edge until it is laying flat, then slide into place. This technique should be the same even if you are using smaller pieces. If using the TC125 by Ruby, or other circular saws to cut porcelain, be mindful not to cut across the aluminum bars. Those would damage your expensive table and possibly ruin a blade. If you are scoring and snapping, the long bars act as a great resource to push down atop of to break apart the pieces. We've included links to our review of the Ruby TC125 and the Slim Cutter below. One part of the Ruby Slim system that I eagerly look forward to testing and trying out is the Ruby Slim System Lifter and Trolley System. This is built to work in cohesion with the table. And with everything that I've seen from the Ruby Slim System, it's all built to be cohesively operated together. A small detail that Ruby added that I want to acknowledge are the rubber stops that you will find. They are designed to help prevent unnecessary damage to pieces of porcelain, but I found them very helpful with maneuvering and positioning during setup. Overall, the table was easy to set up, not too heavy, and very stable. I would love to see the adjustable feet stay in place a little better during transport, but that is a common problem with the tables I've used. 
Ruby markets this table for floors and walls with a recommended slab size of 9 feet by 4 feet. I feel that it can handle large slabs, but again, make sure you have help and a system in place to handle the size issues. Overall, it's a very good table for the price point. Each half of the table costs $900 plus tax and shipping and can help any first timer installing porcelain slabs get their floor or wall project done. Thank you so much for watching our video about the Ruby Slim System table. I really hope you were able to get some wonderful points about how the table gets set up, how it works, and how it supports you in your installations. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you're notified when we release new videos. Our industry is changing every single day. New techniques, new tools are coming out, and we want you to stay up to date on these items. So remember, you're not a pro unless you know.